With the ever-present threat of exploits, exploring Web3 can be a little scary sometimes. Burner wallets are one way to help you manage your risk when interacting with the blockchain. In today's video, we'll be talking about what a burner wallet is, why you would use one, and how to set one up. A burner wallet is a temporary or single-use crypto account. They have their own set of public and private keys, making it completely separate from your main wallet. Burner wallets are most commonly used to protect your wallets from possible hacks on compromised applications or potential scams. They are also sometimes used as an extra layer of privacy for certain situations. That's why it should only contain the amount of crypto you need for its intended transactions. For privacy, it's best to avoid creating too many links between the burner wallet and your main wallet. Stay away from anything that can identify you, like an ENS domain or even NFTs you're using as a profile picture somewhere. Funding a new burner wallet with an exchange will help preserve your privacy to an extent. This is because deposit details on blockchain explorers will only show that it was received from the exchange itself and not tied to an address personally identifiable to you. Of course, the exchange itself will have your information, however, if you've KYC'd there. So when would you use a burner wallet? To mitigate loss of funds from a potential malicious contract. You can use one when minting NFTs or interacting with blockchain applications, especially new or unaudited ones. You can also use a burner wallet during any in-person situations, like crypto meetups and conferences, where you may need to sign transactions or make purchases using crypto. This helps minimize your on-chain footprint and is useful if you don't want to expose personal details like your balance or even trading strategies. Importantly, it prevents doxing your main address to potential bad actors who may use this knowledge to steal your assets and even physically harm you to do so. Burner wallets are also useful for developers who want to test their applications. This lets them interact with the product as a first-time user over and over again while keeping their main assets safe and sound. Setting up a burner wallet is just like setting up any other crypto wallet. Most wallets can generate virtually unlimited accounts, each with their own set of private keys. These accounts all come from one wallet and can be managed with just one secret recovery phrase, but are still completely separated. For example, you could easily open any wallet, such as Rabi or MetaMask, and add as many new addresses as you want. These will then show up in your wallet for you to seamlessly switch between and manage. Once you've got your burner wallet all set up, there are a few safety tips you should keep in mind. First of all, make sure to choose a trusted wallet provider. You'll then want to clearly name your burner wallet account to avoid confusing it with the others. Try to plan ahead and transfer just the minimum amount of needed funds to reduce any potential losses. Avoid accessing your burner wallet on public Wi-Fi networks and look into using a VPN for extra security. Once you're done interacting with an application, disconnect the wallet from the site to prevent future unauthorized access. Lastly, remember that burner wallets are meant for temporary use. Don't make plans to store tokens long-term or in significant amounts, and consider abandoning the wallet altogether after its intended use. So, we've been using the term burner wallet in this video, as it's the most common way people refer to it. However, it might be more accurate to call it a burner address instead. To understand what we mean, check out this video to learn what the difference is between a blockchain address and wallet.